Hey guys, I'm really excited about this tutorial. We're going to start bringing our game world to life. I'm going to show you how to add textures, background music, and even use AI tools to generate the game code for you. By the end of the video, you'll see how fun and easy it is to use AI tools to put together a 3D game scene that actually runs in plays. So let's make a texture for our terrain. I'm over at meshy.ai. This site gives you free credits to start with. And I'm just going to say I want to make a top-down view of a grassy plains texture. This one looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save that. We'll just call it grassy.png. And then I'm going to come over here to this Make Seamless Textures tool on Image Online. This tool's free again, and just choose the PNG file that we just created in Meshi. You can leave all the defaults here and uh, choose PNG as your output image format. Click OK. Take a look. That looks pretty good. Um, and we can go ahead and download the process texture. Next, I'm going to move back over into Unity, create a new folder. Let's just call it Textures for now. I like to keep things organized and rename that texture that we just downloaded to grassy texture, drag it into the project folder, and then you want to select your terrain object. Click on the paint textures drop down and then choose create layer here and choose that texture that you just downloaded. And what that'll do is fill your terrain uh, tiled with the texture that you just created on meshy.ai. So now let's just uh, go ahead and run the scene real quick. Take a look to see what it looks like in game. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I, I like it. All right. So now that we have our grass texture, let's go ahead back and create a texture for the dirt path that we're going to have the character run on. So same idea you hear. Top down view of a dirt texture. Pick one that looks reasonably good. Go ahead and download this again. And I skipped the tiling part, but I went ahead and tiled that, and then I will grab the tiled texture, drop it in here, select the terrain, and choose Create Layer, and choose the dirt texture that we just generated. Okay, at this point, um, we're going to want to choose a brush that's a little on the smaller side, and select that dirt texture, and just drag it around on the surface of the terrain. And you can have a little fun with this, right? Make a little path, put some bends in it, there we go. That looks pretty good. Something for Gary to run on. So let's run the scene again here real quick. And yeah, now he's got a path to run on. All right. This scene's starting to come together. One thing I feel like it's missing, though, is sound, right? You know, part of a good video game is background music. So this is where some of the AI tooling out there really shines. Traditionally, this is something you'd have to code by hand, but I'm going to show you how to use Google Gemini CLI tool to write the code for you. This is a free tool you can download from Google, and you get a lot of free credits um, just with a Google account. So uh, I have it running here in a WSL instance inside of Visual Studio Code, and I'm simply giving it a prompt here. It has access to my project directory and the code that's already been in place, and I'm just saying... I have a Unity project with a scene where I want to play some background music. Uh, can you create a component that I could add to a game object that it would allow me to specify background music, a volume setting, and a way to delay the uh, start if you'd like to. And I'm just going to click Enter and let it run. And so after it takes, you know, maybe a minute or two here, it'll generate the code for you. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a look and see what it created for me here real quick. So made a pretty simple looking component here that uh, plays an audio clip if you had it assigned uh, during the awake sequence of the scene. So now I'm going to bounce back over here to the Unity editor. You'll see it's going to recompile. Every time you make a code change, the Unity editor will recompile those changes for you. And uh, then following the instructions that Gemini CLI gave me, I'm going to make a empty game object called Music Manager and then add that new component that was just created, the background music component. And we don't have an audio resource yet, so let's use Suno to create our background music. Um, one thing to note here, if you're using Suno.com, the free version, you're allowed to generate songs, but you cannot use those in commercial licenses. So just be careful if you're using this for any sort of game that you intend on maybe selling someday, um, get the Pro license. 
Um, so I'm saying I want a calm, relaxing video game uh, music with inspiration from the Nintendo game Earthbound. And this one sounds pretty cool. Um, so we'll go with this one. So now that we've created that, we're back in the Unity editor. I'm going to make a new folder called Sounds and grab that MP3 that I just downloaded. We'll rename it BG Music and plop it into our Sounds project folder here. And then let's select that Music Manager again and drag it into our audio source. And click Play, and it should not play the music. Uh-oh, we've got a problem here. Just so you guys know, it took me a little while to debug this. Um, what it ended up actually being was when I created the scene, there was a main camera object and it had an audio listener attached to it. There's also an audio listener on the camera for the character, so I had to delete that camera object. Just be aware, some of this stuff takes time. It takes a while to debug and figure out what's actually going wrong. But as you can see now, I deleted that extra camera object and we've got our music playing. So Gary has something to listen to as he runs along our dirt path. All right, now that we're past that phase, let's add some, some vegetation, right? Um, this world looks a little boring the way it is right now. So I found this free rocks and vegetation pack. It's designed for URP projects. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. And let's take a look at the prefabs here. So we've got some pretty cool looking trees. Um, we got some, a couple of different variations of these trees. Let's see what they look like in the scene. So you can just drag these in, pop them wherever you want. And I'm going to show you here real quick. For terrain painting, you can actually paint tree objects. So I went to paint trees and clicking add tree and choosing those game objects that I just pulled in from the resource pack. And this will allow you to, you can specify a brush and then you can choose the size and density and opacity and things like that. This just makes it a little easier to fill your scene up with vegetation. You can also do this for detailed assets, um, but for purposes of this video, I'm just gonna kind of drag some of the, these ferns and bushes just to kind of fill things in a little bit, make it look more like an actual scene instead of just a flat plane. Uh, so this is the fun stuff, right? You know, filling in scenes, putting in objects and props, making it look kind of come to life here. So have fun with this. All right, once you've got all your props in place, let's go ahead and run the scene again. And there you go. We have a nice little forest path for our Gary to walk back and forth in. So this scene feels like it's coming to life a little bit. Thanks for watching. If you found that helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, post a comment and I'll try to help you out. In the next tutorial, we're going to start to add more game mechanics using Gemini and 3D AI tools. Hope to see you then. Bye.